How, how's Jenna's baby? Jenna's she's not a baby. Oh, man. She's not a baby anymore. Yeah, she's, she's almost good. five feet tall. I know. She's eight. It's getting scary. How do we make this world a better place for our little girls as part of that, what we're doing here tonight? I'll tell you how you make the world a better place. You arm them with the tools to be strong, to fight, to understand that the power of their uh, authenticity is, is their rebellion, and to stand up to injustice, to understand that their truth is valuable, that they are valuable, valuable and they are worth it. And I think that when you leave those set of tools within them, I think we're going to be okay. Really well articulated. They call you in this article the unofficial champion for overlooked women. What do you make of that title? I accept it. <laughs> I really do. I, I accept it. I think I like that better than some actress things that they say. But um, yeah, I think that I think the most beautiful thing that we can do in humanity, and I think we really understand understand this now in the zeitgeist, is to root for each other and to be each other's advocate and to understand that without connection we're nothing. So yeah, I, I accept it. It's like every year it's like an annual rite of passage that the Oscar buzz starts off around your wife. Well, oh. you know, hey, this is an incredible film about four incredible women going through incredible circumstances. It's awesome. That's all I can say. What's that buzz mean to you? Does it ever get old? I'm grateful for it. I'm a little tired now, <laughs> so it's hard to, but you know what, regardless, I'm just happy that I had a great experience making the film and that it's being received. Everything else is gravy.